Hi everyone, and welcome back to Dinkum for Dummies, where I'm going to be answering a lot of common questions about the spring update. But before we get to that, I need to warn you that some of these are considered later game content. So if you want to discover them yourself and avoid any potential spoilers, then consider yourself warned. And without further ado, how do you get jacaranda trees? They are available for purchase from Rain on the right hand side of the shop for 25,000 dings per sapling. You can buy them at any time, but they will only bloom purple in the spring. Once the sapling is buried and planted like any other seed, it will grow into lovely purple trees during springtime. Once spring is over, the leaves will turn green and they will look like this. If you decide to chop down a jacaranda tree, it will drop hardwood, though that is probably the most expensive hardwood that you will ever come by. To get waterbeds, all you will need is the waterscaping license, and you will get the recipe for waterbeds which needs cement, copper, and pearls that can be harvested from oysters in the ocean. If you started your game before the spring update in March, you may have realized that you can no longer put your wattle flowers and bottle brush into your kegs. This is not a glitch. With the update, there was a new brewing license added, so you now need to brew these items in a billy can kit first to make wattle tea. Then you can place the tea into the kegs and get the same wattle brew. If you read the description of the level 2 brewing license, you will see that this now unlocks the keg recipe. If you are a new player and do not have kegs, then you will need this license to get the crafting recipe. But if you are an older player who started before the update and already has kegs, then you do not need the level 2 brewing license at all. Getting a balloon is rather easy, you just need to play for one year in game. On your one year anniversary, the island will throw a party, and if you talk to any resident holding a balloon, they will give it to you. While you are holding the balloon, it gives you a floating effect, so you do not fall as quickly when you jump. Another new landscaping item is the alphabet letter statues. These are obtained by getting your level 2 sign writing license and can be crafted at a sign writing table using cement. All signs and letters statues must be crafted at a sign writing table, not a crafting table. To write on any of the custom signs, you will also need a sign writing pen, which came with the first sign writing license. To do so, place your sign down, then use the pen on it and you'll be able to type any message you want. You can also conveniently change the writing at any time with the pen. To get a sailboat, you'll need the sailboat recipe, which can be obtained as one of the random recipes available to buy at Franklin's, or as a recipe reward for completing a job for a villager. Crafting it is rather expensive, as you will need pleeps and an animal processing level 2 license for cloth, and wooden chests currently only available in the treasure rooms on any level of the deep mine. Coffee plants are another new addition to the game, but coffee seeds are actually very hard to get unless you have been playing the game for a while. Coffee seeds must be purchased from Jimmy, who if you read the loading screen tips, is the shady visitor on rainy days. He sells a variety of rare and expensive items, which now includes coffee seeds. You can buy them at any time, but they'll only grow in spring. Another new item that can be obtained from Jimmy is the Moo Saddle, which lets you ride moose. And a quick digression, in order to get Jimmy to even appear on your island, you need to have the bank, and you also need to have at least 1 million dinks deposited. Then when it rains, if you check the map, Jimmy will appear in a boat that is marked by a question mark on the map. This next bit is all about the new deep mine, which has been named the Undergrove. First, how do you get to the Undergrove? You will need a deep mining license, and the way the deep mine works is you need a single-use mine pass from John's shop to go down into the mine once for a day. Additional levels of the mine you can go to will be set with specific items. To get to the undergrove, you will first have to make a trip down to the original deep mine until you find at least two rubies. The rubies will then need to be broken into ruby shards. One ruby will give you three shards and you'll need four shards to access the undergrove. Once you have your shards, place them in the left console of the deep mine elevator and then when you use the levers, and remember you still need a mine pass, it will take you to the undergrove. It seems like using shards will continue to be the method for accessing new levels of the deep mine with different shards being used to set the levels. In the original mine, the walls can be broken with an iron pickaxe and they drop stone. In the new deep mine or the undergrove, you have to use an axe to chop the ancient tree walls, which do not drop anything yet. All of these next questions have the same answer. They can be found as loot in the undergrove deep mine. You will need old keys to unlock doors to the treasure rooms. Though be prepared to fight, a lot, when you go down. These chests will have random loot spawned in them, so you need to get a bit lucky and have a lot of keys on you. But this is how you get items such as the diving helmet, which lets you walk underwater, how you get the stone wand, which lets you place rocks, 
the Moo Whistle, Braconium Ore, and other treasures. If it's a rare item that can't be crafted or purchased, then there is a very very good chance it will be loot in the deep mine. Emeralds can also sometimes be found in these treasure rooms, though they can also just be found out in the mine, as you can see me pass by one trying to run for my life. Emerald shards are probably what will be used to access the third level of the deep mine, so you might want to hang on to a couple of these instead of selling them all. How do you get the giant lily pads that you see in the undergrove? You will first need the diving helmet. Once you have found the diving helmet in one of the treasure rooms, you can wear it to chop down the lily pads from underwater. And lastly, how do you get marble? This is another new material added to the game that has a lot of crafting uses for marble decorations. To find marble, you'll need to look around for places with white spots on the ground in the undergrowth deep mine. You can use a pickaxe or shovel to mine the marble, and it just pops off the ground almost like a path block. And that's all for this one. Thanks for watching, and see you again next time.